people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen uh, for some of you who are new to the channel uh, on this channel you were able to successfully forecast the crash in the stock market in US which is a uh, Nasdaq 100 Dow Jones 30 S&P 500 we all were also able to uh, forecast the for crash in uh, United Kingdom stock market uh, which is FTSE 100 uh, when it was right at the top so that was an amazing you can actually go and check it we were able to forecast the crash in Tesla and uh, Bitcoin as well the whole forecast uh, is available on my channel for you to uh, refer to uh, and we were able to give some good analysis for Euro uh, and uh, other uh, major forex pairs uh, once again, we were able to forecast the uh, good price drop in platinum, gold, and silver. Uh, all of this needs to be updated, and I'm going to update it right to, uh, in today's video. We will dis definitely discuss Japanese Gen if you are in interested in Japanese Gen. So, if and uh, we will definitely, definitely look at crude oil. Once again, a lot of people would be probably surprised because of the previous drop, the sudden drop that we have seen last week. Uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, our viewers were not surprised. All of this was available on my previous analysis. You can refer to the weekend analysis on last week. Now, enough of this. If some of um, I understand completely, a lot of people are. Uh, actually, I think I at least received a couple of complaints that people can't see the charts properly. First of all, you can refer. Uh, I am doing this individually. I do not have any other person who is helping me. I'm short of time and I'm really sorry for that. Uh, but if you want to refer to the timeline of the video, I'm going to follow this chart all the way around. So you can look at the chart uh, and the, the instrument name is right over here. It's also available at the top here. Uh, so you have to probably uh, maximize your screen so you can see that. I will try to uh, add these names. I was so busy once again. I, it's none of your business. I mean, you have nothing to do if I was busy. If I put a content, I understand that should be perfect. But please accept that. I was just a little too much busy this week. Uh, so Dow Jones 30. And we'll discuss that the whole video as per this, uh, the sequence of the charts. So you can look at the at the bottom right over here is also uh, available at the here and if you look one and see the name of the here uh, is available over here for the instrument that we are discussing. Uh, so I would appreciate if you can put a comment there, put the thumbs up button for the content that you have seen, and if you want to suggest something, definitely put a content uh, comment. I'll uh, read every single comment that's put on. Let's start our today's analysis. First of all, uh, people who have long-term investment uh, portfolios in uh, in U.S. and in uh, especially in U.S., then we have some good news for them. Uh, the whole drop that seems started right from our top uh, seems very close to the the completion and the five-wave structure basically that started from the top right over here seems to be uh, very close to the completion. And I'll discuss how far uh, we are in. And once again. Uh, I am uh, of a point of view that we have started just a major, major uh, bearish cycle and it's only beginning of the cycle. We are going to pull back and that will be the best chance for people who were uh, bullish. They can sell it and they can readjust their positions as per my analysis. Uh, please uh, take uh, responsibility. I do not, I won't take any responsibility for your losses or gains, definitely. So you do understand it's just much kind of a, a bookish view of Elliott Wave analysis. Much kind of an application of Elliott Wave analysis is not a financial advice. So as per our financial analysis of, uh, I mean, Elliott Wave analysis of, of the, the stock market here, as in uh, NASDAQ 100, let's have a look and uh, where I can find the labeling correctly. So right now, uh, I think we'll have probably two, three days of, uh, uh, let's have a look, give me a moment. Because I want to see how much time we took from from the here right over here. So I think there is a good uh, possibility that we can see a lot of noise right over here uh, in side wave and then price is expected to jump up in the wave 4 area and this is only wave 4 and once the prices drop I'm expecting that we should see uh, the first chance of the bottom is around 11, uh, 10,700 points. Uh, let's have a look on the structures on the left. And the next target that we can use uh, for is right over here too. I think I was a little too quick in the analysis, so I will repeat that. So I believe that we have completed uh, wave one right over here, uh, the blue wave right over here too. Wave two is completed, wave three is completed, wave four is completed, and then within wave five, this blue one, we have completed one, two, three already. So we are to see wave four completion 
uh, next few days maybe three to four days or maybe it can take two three days and then we'll see a price movement downward once that price movement downward occurs and that price movement downward would be the final one uh, for this five wave structure that actually started right from over here that would be completing the five wave structures of a smaller time frame that actually started from over here and over here that will be completing wave one uh, once again we can definitely put that wave one right over here too let me quickly label that here so you can uh, refer to uh, what we are looking at that will be completing wave one and uh, then we will be able to uh, look for wave two uh, wave two will be a little more complicated and we'll discuss it uh, when we get there uh, but that will be completing the downward price movement and then we will expect some sort of uh, price uh, jump up problem from here we'll be able to look at the private trend and then how far the correction is expected to go but that's too much to discuss early on uh, first now I'm expecting that we are to see some sort of uh, jump in wave 4 and then we will see wave 5 and once that happened that the trend will finish and then we'll discuss more we have a similar uh, analysis for uh, Dow Jones 30 if you look at it uh, the labeling is not that much in detail uh, and I'm expecting once again a similar behavior uh, that we ought to see some sort of smaller wave 4 correction upward for next two to four days and the price movement downward that would be completing a five wave structure that actually started right from the top and then we'll be looking for some sort of correction uh, for corrections once again we look at the previous structure and this is going to be our previous structure for correction so one target is right over here we are you can see right over here uh, the first target is actually going to be right over here this is going to be our first target believe me or not for the correction the next target will be right over here or over here both targets can be used and then a deeper target is right over here and once again if you look at it this target this target this target and the back target is right this one over here we can consider this structure individually for the uh, target and this structure individually for the target as well so for now I think we instead of starting this this and that we can look at these structure as well and we will be able to when price once prices start moving up we'll also do some analysis on that once again too much to say but get it ready for a u-turn expected in uh, I would say next uh, five to seven trading days maybe a year basically uh, a week and a half uh, we, have, we are to expect some sort of uh, turn in uh, in the stock market in the US uh, we have S&P 500 once again uh, give me a moment right over here too so we have S&P 500 and it's also going through the similar pattern that we are seeing right now uh, within the S&P 500 uh, chart I will also be able to um, quickly label the price here you can see refer to that we have completed wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 uh, actually 3 is complete within the 5 wave structure the 5th wave and we are to complete wave 4 and then wave 5 a similar behavior once again we are looking for this uh, black waves to complete wave 1 is right over here 2, 3, 4 and 5 is uh, very close to the completion once that is complete we are expecting prices to go up this is going to be our first target alright uh, once again I think about we might have about five to seven trading days left uh, for the bottom to be found from the top from the five wave structure that actually started right from over here once again this bottom is going to be one wave one of a higher degree and we will be completing wave two and then we will go down, down further so I give a timeline for NIFT, uh, for not nifty for FTSE uh, FTSE 100 which is UK based uh, stock market index and I'm expecting that we ought to see at least two years of bearish price action uh, in, in FTSE and I'm expecting a similar kind of uh, price uh, behavior going through world indices as well that includes uh, Pakistan, United States, India uh, and any other major stock market uh, that's being traded so I'm, I've already given it to on my YouTube channel that I'm thinking that most of the indices are going to follow US stock market uh, and that's uh, I'm still believe that that most of the world indices are going to follow US stock market uh, at least that's what the historic data has shown um, there are some cases when the stock market did not follow exactly but for that we'll have to look at the individual charts uh, here once again what a stunning forecast that we had it was right over here at the top a lot of people were anticipating for the prices to go up in the uh, FTSE but I gave an analysis that you are to go uh, downward uh, so that price action is still going on this boxes do not get confused it's uh, a sort of application of uh, GAN analysis and if you guys are interested I can make a separate video for the way I did it
uh, it's a weekly time frame first of all it clearly says the bottom is expected somewhere in December 2023 uh, for the whole market crash that actually started right from over here I'm seeing two years of at least bearish price movement uh, and then we'll we'll see some what happens after that uh, within that structure that actually started right from over here uh, the labeling is in front of you <coughs> sorry for that so we have completed wave one right over here too wave two is completed and right now we are going through wave three give me a moment on a four hourly time frame as you guys can see we have clearly completed this green wave one and green wave two and green wave three is complete we are to complete I think that we gave three uh, the green tagline is complete right now we are to complete wave four be really careful uh, there is quite a possibility in sometimes uh, the last remainder uh, section can swiftly go down to complete wave three so wait for a uh, pullback uh, wait for some sign that pullback that this price movement that actually started from over here is complete okay and, uh, and and once that is complete I'm, I'm to see prices because we have seen an example in gold uh, if you guys are um, I'm not sure when we had flash crash last year, last year we lost about hundred and fifty dollars within few hours uh, that was at the very end of the wave uh, five wave structure so a sudden price movement can be expected so that's why I said a be a little careful for a quick u-turn all right there is a possibility for a sharp drop and then price up but right now I'm thinking that we are very close to the completion of wave three as soon as that is complete we are to see price move wave four going in this region and then uh, I'm expecting that the this wave three that's we are to see the blue the blue wave three. Uh, my target for that is somewhere right around, around here, six thousand three hundred. So I'm expecting once we have completed wave four, uh, we are to see deeper wave wave five within wave three, this blue one. So I'm expecting that wave five would be stronger uh, because we are still, even though the uh, the labeling is, seems to be completion, uh, we are away from the the target and which is not the case in US stock market we are close to the target right over here uh, once again we can look at the daily time frame could we easily pass through that target and that's be our net next target yeah that's a possibility that once the wave 4 is complete then we can definitely come to 3200 uh, this is S&P 500 we can look at Dow Jones 30 uh, for a similar behavior uh, this target is the first one if the price can uh, follow through easily this target and then we can definitely draw a next target to the uh, the s end of this particular structure and you got you guys are well aware that I use structures for to find the price targets and once a similar behavior we can see in uh, Nasdaq 100 uh, give me a moment let me turn into weekly time frame and then we can quickly so we have this target and this target so we can refer to this target as well which is 6600 it won't be surprising if we can cash that uh, within like mm, within a month it, I won't be surprised uh, but we look at price uh, price structure as it happens all right Tesla is next one Tesla is showing some sort of resistance right now it did not drop as much as we are seeing once again Tesla was right at the top when I started uh, actually it was right over here when I started forecasting Tesla and we have seen quite a bit of price movement right over here too uh, we are seeing that Tesla did not drop as much as we have seen uh, drop in FTSE uh, reason is because Tesla has dropped quite a bit already from the top uh, so I'm expecting some sort of correction is expected and then we are looking at 540 as a potential target for prices to go down uh, within the five you can see the first of all the labeling blue wave one and two and three and four are complete right now we are going to the fifth wave within the fifth wave we have completed this black wave one and two and three and four is completed and right now we're going through the fifth wave which is the last wave right over here within the fifth wave we have completed smaller wave one right over here I believe uh, which sort of looks like a leading diagonal uh, and I believe that we are to complete wave two which is gonna take some time right over here too uh, and then we are to complete wave three four and five potential target I'm looking for is 540 for uh, for Tesla Bitcoin uh, this is the most interesting forecast that you're gonna see uh, it looks to me that we are very very close to the bottom all right not a, because right now everybody is uh, so focused on the 
on the bearish side of the cryptocurrency i've done this analysis i was able to forecast all the match the drop right from over here um, from the top over here and all the way so you can see that i'm expecting right now that we're very very close to the completion of this uh, the bottom in in bitcoin uh, give me a moment i'll try to clean the chart right over here too couple of things i'm looking for and uh, first of all it is next to it is it's very hard to see which exactly uh, degree are we completing within the wave 5 within the within the pattern so i'm expecting right now that we are very close to the completion of this wave i think this bounce that has happened has happened for a reason uh, we will get a confirmation that this drop is move over we can definitely use uh, first of all the the diagonal line that we have here the trend line we can refer to that that will be uh, you know you can draw that easily I'm pretty sure all of you guys are pretty good uh, technical analyst so we can use this trend line uh, or we can use a horizontal resistance line when prices go beyond 23,000 right over here that will be completing wave 4 uh, that will be an indication that we have found a bottom. I think that we have already found a bottom which has happened at 17,540 for Bitcoin. Uh, but more on later, I th I'm considering this whole drop from the top as an ABC structure. I'm considering this whole process as an, an A, B and C structure and I believe that uh, we ought to see some, some price boom and at least this particular structure that actually started in wave B is complete. Now the jump that is to happen uh, because we have completed a 5F structure, a correction, a 5F structure. Let's say, let's assume uh, that my structure is basically wave 1, 2 and 1, 2. Right? Because this is the 5F structure, a correction, another 5F structure. So that's why I'm saying this jump that has to happen, the strength of that jump or the price behavior, uh, the wave behavior and the wave characteristics of that jump are going to decide that we are right in our analysis. Uh, we can definitely use uh, a very common tool uh, for um, confirmation or guideline for Elliott wave analysis that this is the case right over here too. Now this is a parallel channel that I've run from the top to the bottom and we can see right now that we are very close to the, uh, the this end as well, the lower end of the channel. So this is one indication and that the and the more important one is that we have completed a 5 wave structure in 5th wave. <coughs> Once again, sorry about that. So all of you can refer to the labeling. I'm thinking right now, as per my analysis, that we are going to see nice jump run, price in a, a nice jump in the prices of Bitcoin. And the the property of the uh, the wave property of the next jump is going to tell us whether we are to complete a W, X, and Y. Because who is to say that this is not this, this is the completion of the wave? We can easily consider it as a W, go for an X, and then come as an Y. But that's therefore we have to wait. I think that this structure that actually started from over here and over here is complete. So we are either looking for an impulsive behave, behavior or either we are looking for a corrective behavior going upside. It's going to be very interesting to see. Once again, I'm turning my bearish outlook from Bitcoin on cryptocurrency to bullish outlook in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and uh, we will keep a close eye on the on the waves that develop and the price actions that are uh, that are achieved by the cryptocurrency so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are a lot a lot confused uh, with the with, with the way the prices have happened in in euro Australian dollar New Zealand dollar British crown and because it's you know it's a lot of sharp moves that are occurring Right now, I'm considering that we have completed a 5 wave structure and a 3, st three wave structure. And I'm considering that we have a smaller degree wave 1 and 2. Let me delete that all stuff and I'll have to label that, okay? Just give me a moment. So I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 1 and this whole price movement as wave 2, which is an, a flat correction. Wave A and wave B and wave C right at the bottom. Within this, we have wave 1 and 2 wave 3 and wave 4 and wave 5 we can see that wave 1 went up and came down although the wave 2 went a little deeper than the previous the support here right over here I'm still considering that 
we did find some sort of four because the price jumped sharply up we have also seen that the prices have gone up and this price movement is corrective price behavior we can definitely use uh, a, some sort of a trend line right over here too so I right now I'm considering once again this is as one and two and I'm expecting euro to be bullish in next week so I'm expecting the price in uh, the price movement is going to be upside and I'm bullish for euro and uh, once again I'm pretty sure you guys are have heard it quite a bit from me that I'm expecting that wave A, wave B and wave C is complete in euro on a daily time frame here you can probably look at for it my target for euro is right over here 1.399 I'm bullish for euro in next couple of years uh, this is my long term forecast uh, for euro within that forecast I believe that we have completed uh, wave 1 of larger wave 1 of another wave 1 so I believe that we have completed wave 1 and wave 2 and then we have already started the price movement going in wave 3 here we can see that uh, wave 4 uh, give me a moment once again it's just let me use the the daily time frame I was experimenting a lot because the price wave 2 went very very deep this price movement that went very deep we were expecting I did give an analysis that we were to see price movement down and then go up but this went a little deeper so we have to be really careful making sure uh, that this is actually not going be beyond the starting point of wave 1 so, so I'm still considering this whole movement as wave 1 and this is wave 2 let's have a look at hourly time frame I'm to delete this ABC structure do not worry about it so we can write clearly see a 5 structure from over here and the A B and C structure is complete and I'm expecting that we are to be going uh, on the upside I'm bullish on Australian dollar let me delete that Give me a moment. so I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 1 and wave 2 of uh, wave 3 right and we have already completed this wave 1 and this is wave 2 so I'm bullish on Australian dollar uh, let's have a look on a weekly time frame uh, you guys are, can see here I'm considering this price movement as a 5 wave structure a wave 1 or wave A and this as wave B or wave 2 on a weekly time frame uh, on a here this looks much better and I'm expecting that we are to go upside right over here too uh, and the first target that we can use uh, for a weekly time frame is this and if prices can actually cross that level easily uh, then we are to see this as a potential target for about two years uh, worth of uh, bullish price movement in Australian dollar British pound I think that we did we see a new bottom yeah we did see a new bottom right over here too so in that regard we have to look for the labeling we have to redo the labeling from the start right over here too because we have started uh, because we have seen a new bottom right over here okay so as you guys can see I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 1 and wave 2 and I'm on point of view that we are going to be bullish in in uh, British pound hourly time <coughs> hourly time frame once again it should not be a, a rocket science uh, it's pretty simple uh, already told you guys so I'm um, right now considering this price movement as wave one, uh, or you can consider this as wave one, wave one and two, another wave one and two. I'm expecting that we are to go upward uh, in in British pound. New Zealand dollar. We have also able to create a new low right over here too. I'm considering this price movement as part of the previous structure, and from once again it's on hourly time frame. Uh, we have believe. We can easily consider th this whole price movement as uh, impulsive and corrective and go on from over here. I'm, I'm bullish on New Zealand dollar too. I'm of the point of view that we are to see uh, a bullish side of New Zealand dollar against US dollar in the next couple of years at least. Now Japanese Gen, I uh, warned you guys if, uh, if you are a regular viewer of my analysis. Um, let me show you guys here okay I think I've deleted those support levels give me a moment okay we had a one level right over here too so yeah I, I accidentally deleted that so we had this level drawn 
uh, about a month ago. This level was drawn about a month ago, and this is a historical price movement. Again, this is bottom forming around 1993-ish area. So this is quite a bit of data that we have on uh, Japanese Gen that's available for us, and we're lucky to have that data uh, to see price behavior. And I also told you guys that since we have seen this uh, this price movement going upward when prices make a reversal, we are to see a lot of price movement till actually is is actually drops below this uh, this trend line. So we will see prices coming down and go up and coming down and go up till actually cross and they cross beyond uh, this support line over here. As you guys are, are aware of it, on a weekly time frame, uh, I am bearish on the chart uh, that will make Japanese yen stronger as compared to US dollar. I mean, I'm expecting Japanese yen to be uh, bullish and stronger in compared to US dollars in next years to come. And I'm expecting that these are this is the very, very uh, important point. We are very close to a historical top. And I'm expecting that a reversal has probably already started. Let's give me a more look. We have on, on hourly time frame, and we have not gone beyond uh, this particular top right over here too. Are we to go up and create a wave 5? Uh, there is a possibility, but uh, once again, uh, this deeper move that we have seen is very interesting. So we are very, very close to forming the smaller wave 5. H either it has already been formed over here, and this is wave 1 and 2, as we have seen in Joro or uh, as we have seen in uh, in Australian dollar or we are to see a new uh, high uh, and then we have to come down so I'm bearish on um, Japanese Gen I'll wait for a couple of more days to take a trade uh, I, we may create a new high but it's not going to be there like the continuation of the trend we are at the end of the trend right over here too I have drawn this uh, trend line for your guideline you can definitely use this trend line I would not advise for a for a trade unless uh, the prices have fallen below this one, because a lot of one two one two is going to happen right now because all the forces are uh, pushing the uh, the chart upward. So when prices falls below this diagonal line, that will be an indication that we have seen a lot of accumulation pa distribution pattern, and then we can definitely go with the wind uh, along with the trend. All right. So I'm be bearishing on the chart. I'll be bullish on Japanese Gen in next weeks to come and then I'm going to wait for the prices to clear to give me a small time frame analysis I'm not attempting an analysis on small time frame uh, for Japanese Gen Canadian dollar we definitely went and created a new top right over here too once again uh, I'm expecting that we are very very close uh, to I'm not expecting that this behavior would carry on in Canadian dollar on a on daily time frame uh, as you guys can see, I'm expecting that we have probably uh, are very very close to the completion and we can turn anytime soon. So what we can do in that regard is same behaving like Japanese Gen. Uh, we can definitely use uh, a trend line or some behavior uh, so that we can actually capture the trend line. This is the trend line one right over here and another trend line which is going to be a little more closer is this one right over here too. So wait for the trend line to be broken, and I think with the with Canadian dollar we have one more target area right over here. Wait for this area to be cleared before we can actually consider a top has happened in Canadian dollar. Uh, I am point of view on a weekly time frame that we are to go down in Canadian dollar. Here you guys can see that I'm considering this as uh, wave A and B and C. So I'm bearish on the chart. I'm expecting Canadian dollar to be stronger against U.S. dollar. Uh, in here in next couple of years to come uh, but on a smaller time frame whether we have created a top or not we'll have to wait for that uh, till we get actually another uh, hint from the price behavior that the start the price behavior that actually starts from over here is complete so once again we can actually bring it right over here that seems to be the wave 4 of a smaller time frame right over here uh, platinum we are very uh, lucky to see the prices drop to this level in platinum it looks to me that we have already created a bottom right over here in platinum don't worry about the labeling I have spent a lot of uh, cycle analysis uh, on on platinum we are very very close to the uh, an important high and I'm expecting that prices to go this way in platinum 
So we have another A, B, C, and X, another A, B, and C. It's clear as we don't need a lot of, uh, we don't need a lot of drama to cover this area. So we have W, X, and Y, and you can clearly see wave 1, and 2, and 3, and 4 points uh, where we are finding support for the, uh, for the price behavior to when price went up and came down. So this horizontal level is very important. We can uh, look at this area and this goes all the way back here over so this area is pretty important we are seeing the same uh, behavior that we have seen over here in this area apart that we were able to cross that i think that right now uh, we are to be clearly bullish i'm clearly bullish on uh, platinum and i think next week is going to be very interesting but before you take a trade i think it will be very uh, important for us to see a break of 954 when prices go beyond 954 you can definitely take a bullish trade on platinum <coughs> now uh, a major point here is, is that we are looking for a, a trend something like this one an A, a B and C and uh, look at this price behavior. It is not easy to forecast this particular market. It's very, very choppy going down, very choppy to go up. A lot of price behavior. And then it's a lot of drama coming down as well. Um, on a four hourly time frame, first of all, let's give us a moment uh, on a daily time frame. So this is a correction pattern. I'm off this point of view at least. I'm not seeing bearish market in gold. I need to make this clear. So I'm not seeing bearish market in gold. I'm looking for a bottom to be formed for this price structure that is actually started from all the way over here. I'm considering this as wave three, and this is going to be wave four. Right now, I'm looking for a bottom in wave four. If you are an investor in gold and silver, my advice is to buy gold and silver right now. Do not worry about retail traders. They're trying to actually, and including me, we are trying to pinpoint uh, in the bottom in gold and silver but if you are a long-term investment let's say you're looking for a couple of years time this is the time to buy gold and silver and platinum if you're interested in gold uh, silver and platinum mining stocks definitely go for it uh, it's a big it's it's a big move for uh, against the stock market you already seen my analysis in the crash of the stock market I'm expecting that for the same period of time that we are going to see the, the crash in the world stocks market, we are going to see uh, bullish price moves in in at least gold, silver, and platinum. I'm keeping a close eye on, on cryptocurrency, and then uh, there's a strong possibility that we will see also a bullish, uh, bullish trend uh, for next couple of years in cryptocurrency as well. Uh, but I'm to see, uh, we have to see price behavior before I can actually uh, make this a confirmed case and for that I've already told you guys that we are we are keeping a close eye on the price action right now in cryptocurrency so enough of that right now the main point a lot of you guys are waiting for is what's happening we have completed wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and I think that we have seen a major major truncation uh, happening in in wave 5 both in terms of price and in terms of time because this is the the bottom that we have seen in 1805 ish and prices have jumped up and i'll discuss that in a bit and there is still room you're expecting for the prices to drop around 1700 around 1680 area all right or on somewhere on this line on trend line but right now the behavior we are seeing on a smaller time frame is indicating that we are have probably seen a truncation in wave five truncation is a real thing you can refer back to and i've seen especially forex markets are are very attractive uh, for truncation to happen first of all what you are seeing in last week you were able to uh, forecast this crash in in gold that happened and then i was really happy i'm like okay we have completed wave one a correction has to come and then we have seen this behavior i'm like okay we have seen a correction right over here and we'll go down but thing that happened on on friday warned me a little and i think right now i've looked into silver as well that we have completed a truncation right over here too right now i'm considering this price movement as a smaller wave one and two or we can refer back to this whole price movement as a leading diagonal 
competing right over here too. I think that will be a better idea instead of considering wave 1 and 2. So we can consider this whole price movement as a 5 wave structure. Wave 1 would be way deep right over here. Wave 2B would be some over here. Uh, 3 and 4. Actually, this is a poor labeling. So first I have to delete this ABC. I'm not considering an ABC right now. Uh, I have to change this. Uh, let me delete that. And on a four hourly time frame, I can bring the, f uh, the label right over here so I'm of point of view right now that we have completed these 3, 4 and 5 right over here too as per my experience where we have completed a, a bottom right over here too we have uh, a nice indication from this I'm pretty sure some of you guys have already noted this one that prices have gone up and they were refused they came back they completed a correction they went back up again created a new high beyond this high and right now we are finding support in this era and this trend line is very important because this is the trend line that is actually holding uh, the correction of wave 4 this channel trend line is important giving an indication that buyers came over here shooting up buyers came over here shooting up and then buyers are coming again at the same level only uh, time and price are creating an angle at this level so I'm of point of view right now that I'm right now bullish and I'm considering this to be an important bottom. I am to take a bullish position in gold uh, using 1805 as a potential refer point, I mean stop loss. I'm not going to use this point because this pattern could be really messy. Right now we can clearly see this is the wave 1 and 2 and 3 or 4 or we can consider this as wave 1 of 3, wave 2 of 3 and wave 4 and 5 we are to look at it further alright so we can refer right now we can agree one thing and that is we have seen an impulsive and a corrective on a smaller time frame we have seen an impulsive and a character of movement on right over here too so this is wave 1 and 2 we have completed another wave 1 of 2 of a wave 3 of this one and we'll go up from over here so I'm clearly bullish on right over here too. Uh, it, it feels to me that we have completed a major, major truncation. A lot of people are not going to like it, but I can clearly count wave 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And a lot of people can say that, okay, we can consider this as an ABC and wave 1 and 2. Uh, yeah, this could be definitely uh, used as a potential, uh, potential alternate count. But for now, I'm going with a, a major truncation, uh, giving an indication that probably the inflation data that we have come, we have seen, and the uh, fr from Federal Reserve has acted upon that inflation data and has uh, increased interest rates more, and has also indication given an indication that they are gonna uh, keep increasing the interest rates. So that's probably reflecting in that uh, truncation that this price movement has to go down. Uh, we're supposed to go downward but the market is reacting in that way and we are seeing in that regard and that really really uh, really excellent thing to see from Elliott wave analysis that is actually uh, seeing the market action as it's happening and it's actually uh, you know I would say reflecting that behavior so I would love to see this as a, a, a truncated wave really uh, once again, I think that we have completed wave 4 on a on a daily time frame right over here uh, We are to look at the price behavior and then we are if that is complete We are to go upward. What is going to confirm my analysis on that regard? if prices can go beyond uh, this trend channel and enter in this territory as you can give me a moment if prices can enter in the territory of 1895 uh, below and above that will be an indication that we have completed the structure here 
that actually started from over here. So a cross of 1895 is going to confirm that we have uh, completed a bottom right over here. That will make uh, the bullish price movement beginning that we have been talking uh, for gold and silver. And I've seen a comment. I've actually seen it. Uh, I did forecast a cra uh, strong bullish movement in gold and silver three months ago, three and a half months ago. That did not happen. And because we have spent more time in correction uh, than I initially uh, thought that we were going to spend. So right now I'm bullish on gold and I'm bullish on silver. Once again, a similar behavior. I'm expecting that we are, we have completed this fifth right over here. What's going to confirm that we have completed uh, bottom in silver is uh, that we can actually look at the starting point of wave one, which is way above right over here. So it won't really actually make sense over here. What we can do is let me give me a moment. What is going to confirm that we have seen a bottom? Okay, this diagonal line is once again way above. Let's see for the for the proper structure. Uh, we do not see any other clues because if we consider 2250 uh, as a confirmation signal then one might say that this probably is continuation of wave 4 right till we actually go and enter into that area let me first of all draw that area <laughs> what are you looking at it I'm seeing one more thing and this is the correction actually that we have started this one correction that we have started we have this diagonal line um, this is giving us one indication uh, for the correction going upward let's zoom that in and then we can actually see that give me a moment let me delete that uh, because a lot of mass is happening let me delete that because we are not using it properly So this is uh, one possible uh, uh, which is actually closer than this one right over here too. Otherwise we are looking at a structure which is a 5 wave structure downward. One can say this is an A, B and C uh, and that can we can also discuss as that okay, this is W and X and Y but I think that right now we have completed uh, the, uh, the 5 wave structure downward and we have clear completed the, the fifth wave and I'm point of view that we are going to be bullish and once prices go beyond this uh, trend line that we have drawn uh, this green trend line that we have drawn and that will be a confirmation I believe that we have completed a bottom right over here so once actually prices go beyond 23.90 or 24 dollar which is about two dollar and forty cents away right now from our uh, our price right now but uh, so that will be our confirmation how you want to do is up to you So this is uh, crude oil. Uh, you're looking at the labeling properly right now. Uh, this analysis was provided once again last week. I was bearish on last week uh, analysis, last weekend's analysis. We have seen a double top right over here too, and a sharper price movement downward. Prices has acted nicely. I'm expecting that next week will be even more bearish for uh, for crude oil right over here so I'm still bearish on crude oil nothing has changed if you want interested in the uh, in the labeling of it I'm expecting crude oil to be bearish in next couple of years we have already completed this green wave one and wave two green is complete we are going in the wave three area and then we are to see some sort of correction that we already is if you look at the pattern it will it matches closely the one in the stock market right so wish you good luck with your trading if you like my content please press thumbs up and uh, if you want to <laughs> share that will be really good and i'll try to comment uh, answer all the comments wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye